Hi everyone and welcome to my first ever YouTube hop. There are 26 different YouTubers who are all doing masculine themed cards. You saw there the sketch I was using for my card. I got that off of Pinterest. If you go on my Pinterest, it's linked there. But let me tell you about the hop. Like I said, there are 26 with us, 26 of us. You start with um, May May Made It. Her link, as well as all the other links, will be down below in the description box. We are giving away prizes. I believe there are three prizes, so three different winners. So what you do is you go through all the videos and you collect a tool from Daddy's Toolbox. We each were given a letter since the, of the alphabet since there were 26 of us. And we picked a tool from Daddy's Toolbox. You'll write them all down. And on the last day of the hop, you'll end with Gareth's video. And there will be a link on there for you to follow and enter all the tools you've collected along the way. My tool, I got the letter Y. I found it uh, pretty difficult. The first thing I came up with was yoke. But that is a, a big farming tool, not a tool that you'd find in Daddy's Toolbox. So I went with the word yardstick. So for my video, you are going to write down yardstick and enter that in the form. Also up today is Lori, I'm probably going to butcher her name, Nuna Maker. It's N-U-N-E-M-A-K-E-R. So you definitely should go and check out the awesome uh, masculine card that she made today. And then up tomorrow, it's the last day of the hop, is Gareth. Again, the one where you're going to enter all the tools that you've collected. So let me tell you a little bit about my card here. These are actually Project Life cards. They are from the Simple, Sno Simple Stories Snap collection called Him. I also have the stickers up at the top there, you'll see, but I didn't end up using those. I wanted to show you that you can use products you may have for other things, like if you do pocket scrapbooking, you can use them not just for pocket scrapbooking, so you're never stuck like feeling like you have to buy certain supplies for cards or certain supplies for you know pocket scrapbooking. Think of them in new and creative ways. I cut out the main element on a card there to use as my main design since the sketch inspiration had a star in it. I'm inking the edges there with some Prima uh, chalk ink. It is fall leaf. I also went through and I had some um, color box cat's eyes that I looked at but the orange looked the best. Here I'm going to pop up my element with some of that um, scotch foam tape. I also end up there, you see, inking the edges of the uh, design element. The reason I did that is it just helped it pop off that wood grain just a tiny bit better. I tried to get it centered where I wanted um, if you remember the sketch, there was a piece down at the bottom and a piece up at the top. So I wanted it centered where I could still put that you're kidding across and you'd get a good portion of both of those uh, patterned papers. So that was my Fiskars trimmer. I really don't care for that trimmer. I find I have trouble getting it to cut straight. But Stamping Up discontinued the cutting track for their trimmer. And... Now my Stampin' Up! trimmer doesn't work. Um, I've changed the blade of my trimmer and I still get a rough cut because that, that track needs to be replaced. So I heard that there may be a solution coming up and I'm kind of waiting to buy another trimmer for, the, for that solution. I felt like when I put everything down the card uh, base was just too plain. But you'll see I, in the beginning of the video, I had fiddled around with um, a star's background. That was done with 
let's see, Art C Texture Cream. You can buy it at Michael's. It was steel blue, but it didn't, didn't show enough. So I went with something else. You see, I had to get my husband to open my, uh, I was going to say Heidi, Heidi Shine. If you are a follower of Inky Quill, you'll know what that is. It's Heidi Swap Color Shine. But I will be doing a review on the texture cream shortly on my channel. I hope you'll uh, subscribe and look out for that because I have three different modeling pastes that I've tried now and I definitely have a favorite. So you're going to see me start putting this together. Nothing uh, real exciting here, I'd say. I use the Tombow Mono Permanent Adhesive for this because um, my ATG gun was upstairs. I had actually used it to wrap a present. I find it much easier to use than wrapping with tape. And I didn't want to have to run upstairs and get it because my video camera will only record 30 minutes at a time. So I wanted to try to get this done under that time frame so we didn't have to readjust the camera and re-zoom in and have, you know, a different look and all that fun stuff. So you're probably wondering why I went with the you're kidding phrase instead of a happy birthday or, you know, anything like that. I left it with that generic um, saying because I didn't have a specific use for this card in mind. So I thought, okay, I could put the you're kidding on there and then when it's time, I could put the inside. You know, you're kidding, it's your birthday and you're getting older. Or you're kidding, I can't believe you graduated. You know, just something silly. Um, I try not to have too many specific cards on hand because then I never seem to have the right one. So I used the Stampin' Up! foam dots there to give it a little um, dimension, but a different dimension than the uh, star on the top. I'm looking at the stickers, just seeing if there's little elements that I'd like to place, and there isn't because they're all too specific. They say things, or they're um, a certain banner shape that I couldn't adjust and it wouldn't fit. So I'm getting out my, my sequins. If you've watched any of my recent videos, um, sequins are going to be on everything I make because I have way too many of them. I did a sequin storage video a few weeks ago, and I will link that um, via a card at the top here. But yeah, way too many. So they will be on everything that I own <laughs> or everything that I do from now on until I make a big dent in them. So as I'm uh, narrating this for you, I'm trying to put some things away here. I've always got a mess when I'm creating and I'm dropping everything all over the place. So I think I'm just gonna sit tight till the end of the video. Again, your word from me is yardstick. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoy what I've made. I'll put um, a still picture in at the end. And again, don't forget to get your words from all the other YouTubers who have done these wonderful creations to give you some guy inspiration. So from Lynn's Everyday Ideas and my crew here, I thank you for watching and I hope to have you as a subscriber soon. Thank you. Bye.